It's not, it's not focusing. Focus. This is my face. Hi. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Hi friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. I don't know about you, but I'm very obsessed with the dark academia aesthetic. And if you clicked on this video, you probably are too, or at least you have some sort of interest in it. The reason I love this aesthetic is because not only does it inspire me to learn more, read more, it also has an amazing, an amazing aesthetic decor wise. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you 50 different <laughs> decor ideas. Now, most of these things are useful decor items. Some of them aren't, but I tried to include things that would be useful to you and that way it doesn't feel like you're just buying something to display. I will also try to link as many things as I can, as many things as YouTube will allow me to in the description box below, but you can always Google these things as well and find them just as easily. First things first, anything that is vintage, uh, look out for those items because that could definitely be added to your collection and it's always stuff that's a little cheaper. And anything that has a gold accent, I prefer the gold over silver within my DA space. And if you find anything that has a gold accent or brass, it, it looks really, really cool. Here's an example of some things I've collected that are just small little vintage trinkets that I just kind of have on my shelf that I feel adds to the vibe. The books that you read put your books out on display in a pretty way or even in a messy way because the DA spaces aren't always super organized. I personally like a little more of a messy look with my books, but that's just kind of how I like to display them. Greek busts, busts. These are so freaking cool. You can get them in a bunch of different Greek mythology gods, but I love this one especially. This is probably one of my favorite purchases and I actually got this for $15 from a Burlington Coat Factory. Another thing about these is that there are so many different options. Some of them have holes in the head so you can store paintbrushes, pens, uh, flowers, and if you don't want just a statue, if you want something that's a little more usable, you can go with that one instead. The next thing is candles. Any type of candle, but I would say that candlesticks are really, really great and it looks beautiful. And that moves me on to the next one, which is candlestick holders. When it comes to candlestick holders, you don't have to stick with the same type of holder. You can do a bunch of different ones and have a collection of mini. So I have a little tiny vase right here, a little flower vase that I actually put my candlestick in. And I just thought this looked really unique. So if you have anything lying around the house that could fit a candlestick in it, consider using that. The next one is a banker's reading lamp, or it could just be a reading lamp in general. I guess there's two different types of banker's lamp. There's the one with the green and the one with the gold. I like the gold because I have gold accents in my room and that's just kind of what I like. The next one is a vintage clock. There's so many options when it comes to clocks. So try to find the best one. I actually got one from the thrift store for $1.50 and it has a slight ticking sound, which I adore when you're reading and you have that in the background. I truly feel like I am in a school. So that's a nice little touch to look out for. You can also get a vintage alarm clock. You can also get a vintage radio. Next is a gramophone or a record player. These are two different types of ways to play music. So it's not like it will be sitting on display. It will be something that is getting used and it just goes perfectly with this aesthetic. A gold framed mirror or a gold framed hand mirror for your desk or your side table. Both of these are really good options. They're beautiful. Just find a frame that has some details to it. A lantern. I have this lantern right here. It has an LED candle inside of it. I got it for $12 from Big Lots from the Halloween section. Halloween and Christmas, they actually have these available. So it's a good time to go out and try to find one. But you can also get one that is a candle, the one with the, the wick in the middle. And that brings me to vintage light bulbs as well. If you really wanna create an ambiance, a vibe within your place, change out your light bulbs for some of the Edison light bulbs. It gives off the best lighting. It, really does and it's perfect for reading. A vintage suitcase or a briefcase. I have a vintage suitcase. I love this because I actually store all of my costumes in it. So it's great because it has a purpose. A typewriter. 
I have been looking for a typewriter forever. I've been wanting to write on one for so, so long. They're very hard to find. I have found one at a thrift store and it was pretty cheap. I think it was $40, but it did not work. So it would have been something sitting on display as opposed to something that's usable. And I tend to go more towards items that I feel I'm getting use out of for spending money on them. Globes. If you are going to get a globe, make sure that it is a darker color. Don't get a bright blue globe. You want it to fit with all the colors that you currently have in your space. And the Dark Academia color palette is, it's earth tones, a chess set. Or you could go with Backgammon if that's more up your alley. But again, these are both items that are very cool and vintage looking, but you can also play them. And if you don't play chess, you could go with checkers, but honestly, I would go with chess if I were you. Greek pillars. These are so beautiful. I have found these at multiple different places for under $20 and they are huge. They go up to about my waist. So they're about three feet tall and could stack candlesticks on top of them, your books. They also have Greek pillars that have holes inside of them for flowers, a stamping stationery set. I think that's what it's called. In dark academia, you're always doing things the old fashioned way. So that means having a stationary set to send letters to your friends to stamp with candle wax and that leads me to having a quill with ink a leather bound journal i got this one from amazon not only can you use this and it's functional it's great to even leave out because it just fits with the aesthetic so well insect display case I would say display butterflies. I don't know about anything else. I would be too creeped out personally. I think the butterflies are beautiful or even moths. Film cameras. Vintage cameras are really easy to come by and they're relatively cheap. That doesn't mean they always work though. So, you know, totally up to you if you wanna buy one that doesn't work just to display. I would personally buy one like the Holga camera, which does work. It's usable and it looks really cool too a bar cart. It goes without saying that people in the dark academia aesthetic, well, the books at least, love to drink. This goes so well with the aesthetic, I could not not mention it. Having a bar cart would be a great idea in your house, especially if you have people over and you like to entertain. But if you are going to get a bar cart, or even if you don't have a bar cart in general, store your alcohol in the crystal containers because Liquor in those containers is so classy. A globe mini bar. These things are very cool. I feel like it goes well, so I wanted to mention this one specifically. A tea set. DA characters love coffee, they love liquor, but you cannot leave out the tea. They love the tea too. So get yourself a nice tea set. I got a vintage tea set. I got it thrifted um, for $10, and you can find these very easily, and it just goes well with the aesthetic and again useful you will use it all the time and you can also display it and our millery sphere it's an astronomical device my personal one though does not have the coordinates on it like the actual ones that people use but it is still really cool easel and art supplies if you are an artist don't be afraid to display your easel wherever you paint within your da space the whole point of DA is that you're passionate about things and you are fully immersed in it all the time. If you are an artist, display your passions publicly. A magnifying glass. I would go with one that looks vintage, of course, but this is just something that you probably won't use, but you can display next to your books as just a little item to add to the vibe. Vintage crystal perfume bottles. There's so many different kinds that you can get. But again, something you can display that is usable matches. Okay, this is kind of weird. This is a weird one, I suppose, but I have a reason for saying this. So my sister actually collects matches every time she travels from like hotels and she has such an amazing collection of vintage match boxes. And this is something that you can display next to your candles instead of using a normal traditional lighter. And it looks really cool. A bird cage with a plant hanging on the inside of it. I actually do have one of these. I'm not going to go and get it, but I, I got a bird cage that I thrifted for 50 cents and I put a plant inside of it and I hung it from the ceiling and it is just, I love it. It's a non-traditional way to hang your hanging plants. So I just, I really love the idea of it and the feel that it gives off. A bookcase with a ladder. 
I didn't even know this was a thing until yesterday and it's actually not that expensive. So Target has them for I think $300 and it's two bookcases with a ladder attached, which is totally crazy. I, I plan on getting these at some point in my life when I have somewhere I live permanently. But if you have a house and you want a library, please get this for me, <laughs> please. Vintage fold out mirrors. These are great for someone that wants to do their makeup at a desk, but it also just adds a really cool vibe to the space. Not to mention in some DA books I have read, they have said these mirrors specifically, so I know I'm on the right track by mentioning these. A standing oval mirror. I think it's actually called a swivel mirror. I had to mention this because it could fit so perfectly within a corner, against a wall, in many different spaces where you don't have a lot of room. It really does tie the space together having a mirror. I, I do want to get one of these eventually. I've been looking out for one of them, but <laughs> haven't found one just yet. Candle snuffers. This name is so funny. So a candle snuffer is a candle extinguisher. And again, it's, you're using it. You're going to be using it, but you can display it as well. I really like the gold accent ones, but I mean, you can get whatever color you like, but it's just a little, it's a little extra trinket that you can add to your shelf. I don't know if this counts as decor. I don't think it does, but you need one of these in your space to complete it. You need a vintage Victorian chair somewhere in your space, surrounded by all this stuff I'm mentioning, and it will bring everything together because what is a space with all this decor if you have nowhere to enjoy your books and your tea? I got my vintage chair from OfferUp for $10, and this chair is just amazing. He said it was from his grandma's house originally, so I really lucked out, but you know what? I see these chairs for that same price all the time, some of the things I'm mentioning on this list are more expensive than just getting a vintage chair, and I promise you won't regret it. A compass. I see these all the time, and they are just so beautiful to display. If you ever come across a vintage one, snag it up. A stopwatch. I would go for a gold accent stopwatch. An hourglass. I guess you could technically use an hourglass, but I'd say that this item is more for display only. D.A. Art. The ones that I specifically think would be great within a dark academia space would be anatomy art, Greek art, and blueprint art. If you look at blueprint, patent print art, there are so many cool things that you can find and it just, to me, screams dark academia. Now let's move on to the DIY portion of this video and these are all things that you could either just buy or you could do yourself. A DIY portrait wall. I made one myself. It cost, I think it was $7. I'll leave a link, the little click thing, so you can see how I did it. It's in this video. And yeah, it's just, it really transformed my room. If you are really wanting to feel immersed, definitely do this. And it's so easy to do. It's so easy to do in any room. Display book pages on your wall. I have a few back here. And this was from a damaged book. I had water damage. So these pages actually are a little ruined already and it just looks amazing because of that. So, you know, try not to use perfectly good books that you go out and buy. Go thrift a book for 50 cents. I've seen people do entire walls. I personally don't like that, but you can do that as well. You can do an entire wall. Something else you can do is if you do display book pages, you can actually draw on them as well. Look up some fun drawings. I'll put some photos right here. If you're not good at drawing, it still can work. Collect dried flowers and display them. One specific way that I think is very neat to display these is in a gold frame or in a frame in general. But if you don't want to do it like that, you can just display them anywhere. Draw up some Greek art, some anatomy art, some blueprint art, literally any type of art that is DA and, you know, just do it on your own. I feel like, again, the whole point of DA is that you love something and it's your own creative space. And last but not least, this is the last one on my list, is to display any Polaroids if you have a camera. You can take photos of whatever you want, Try to make it a little more DA related, make them a little more dark and moody. But I think displaying Polaroids is a very sentimental touch to your room. All right, that's it. <laughs> I can breathe now. I feel like I was talking so fast trying to get through that. 
Well, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it gives you some ideas for your space. Uh, I really thought hard about these and I truly do believe that they all do add something different to the space, but they all in a collective make sense together. If you have any other ideas though, feel free to drop them below in the comments. I would love to hear what sort of things you have in your space to create the dark academia vibe. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. Uh, thanks again for being here and watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.